and magnetism. Electromagnetics. Now, the torque experienced on a torque experienced on a current carrying rectangular coil. placed in a uniform magnetic field Now, <coughs> torque experienced in a current carrying rectangular coil placed in a uniform magnetic field. In the previous topic, current carrying conductor placed in the uniform magnetic field. Now, in the present topic, Current carrying rectangular coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field. There, conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field. Here, rectangular coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field. Now, let us consider this is uniform magnetic field. This is the uniform magnetic field. This is the uniform magnetic field. In this uniform magnetic field, we are placing current carrying rectangular coil. This is the rectangular coil. This is the rectangular coil. What is the name of the rectangular coil? A, B, C, D. This is the name of the rectangular coil. Now what is the current passing through this one? I is the current passing through this one. Not the, that coil is placing, that coil is placing with respect to theta angle. The coil is making an angle theta with respect to the magnetic field. Now let us consider, now let us consider A, B, C, D is the a rectangular current carrying coil is placed in the uniform magnetic field. Then it will experience the torque. What do you mean by the torque? It will explain the turning effect. Right? The turning effect can be explained through moment of couple. What do you mean by the moment of couple? If the two forces equal and opposite and they are parallel, if they are in a plane, if they are acting at 
two different points then it is said to be couple that couple can be explained through moment of couple this moment of couple explains the turning effect that moment of couple is nothing but what you say torque now here in the previous topic current carrying conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field it will experience the force now here this is called rectangular coil this rectangular coil is divided into this rectangular coil is divided into four portions now here ab right ab next bc next cd cd and what to say da are conductors right now this rectangular coil is formed by using the four conductors in other words this is a conductor ab is placed in the uniform magnetic field it will experience the force bc is the conductor it is placed in the uniform magnetic field again it will experience the force cd is the current carrying conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field and it will experience the force da is the current carrying conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field it will experience the force now here what is the force force acting on ab force acting on bc force acting on cd force acting on da we want to calculate if a current carrying conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field what is the general formula force is equals to i l b sin theta right f is equals to i l b sin theta now force is equals to i l b sin theta or otherwise or otherwise i into what to say l bar cross b bar right f is equals to i into l bar cross b bar now i is the current l is the length of the current current carrying conductor b is the strength of the magnetic field or uniform magnetic field now here this is the current carrying conductor what is the length of the conductor l is the length of the conductor what is the breadth of the conductor b is the breadth of the conductor now what is the area of the conductor length into breadth length into breadth now now that is f is equals to f of ab i into that is l bar cross b bar f is equals to i into l bar cross b bar now cd is equals to i into l bar cross b bar f d a is equals to i into l bar cross b bar here see the same formula force on a ab conductor force on a ab conductor what is the current i what is the length of the conductor l what is the magnetic field b now force on a ab conductor is equals to i into l bar cross b bar next one force on a bc conductor force on a bc conductor what is the current i is the current what is the current i is the current now what is the length of the conductor here what is the length of the conductor b that is b bar cross b bar next force on a cd conductor force on a cd conductor force on a cd conductor right this is a cd conductor 
what is the current passing through this one i what is the length of the conductor that is l length of the conductor is l now what is the magnetic field induction b is the magnetic field induction it makes no difference now force on a da force on a da conductor what is the current passing through this one i is the current passing through this one what is the length of the conductor here the length of the conductor is b here the length of the conductor is b and what is the magnetic field induction b now therefore force on a ab conductor i into l bar cross b bar force on a bc conductor i into b bar cross b bar that is now force on a cd conductor i into l bar cross b bar force on a da conductor i into b bar cross b bar now i wrote like this according to fleming's left hand rule what are the directions of the forces what are the directions of the forces now what is the direction of force f of ab what is the direction of force f of bc what is the direction of force f of cd what is the direction of force da now let us consider this is i will take force on bc now what to say force on da now here in this case fleming's left hand rule this is a fleming's left hand rule right in the direction of four finger what is there there is a magnetic field right in the direction of middle finger there is a current there is a current in the direction of thumb finger there is a force now or if the magnetic field is in the direction of four finger if the current is in the direction of middle finger right the plane formed by this both the fingers is like this perpendicular to the plane there is a force now here in this case now what is the magnetic field here is the magnetic field current carrying conductor let us consider this is the magnetic field this is the magnetic field now this is the coil this is the coil 